ENP has been around for about 25 years in the lower school. And its original purpose was to expose students to uh, computers. Over the years, we've continued to do what people now are calling STEAM and STEM for all our children, from kindergarten through fifth grade. The excitement that's generated in this lab is probably enough to power the computers for a whole week. My favorite part about this class is building with Legos. We use a lot of Legos. We use Kiva planks. We use cardboard. We use straws. On the programming side of the ENP lab, we use Scratch. It's a fantastic programming language where you snap blocks of code together. It's like an easier way of building code so younger kids can do it too. You can make a flower bloom without a stem. I made a little character called Pika from space. I like EMP because it's so fun and we always get to do fun things. And this is an LED miniature light bulb. And the way you get it to work is that, for example, you can take one of these batteries and then if you put it in the right spot, then it starts glowing like this. The students get so excited when they solve a problem, and it actually works, and they figured it out. It may take time, and it certainly does take a lot of patience, but the result is pretty amazing. You can't really not make a mistake in that class. Making mistakes is crucial to learning. This lab is a safe place for them to try new things, to take risks. It's OK to make mistakes because you learn from them. Everybody's an engineer and everybody's a programmer. It doesn't matter if they're boy or girl. I'm consciously uh, making an effort every day to combat that gender bias. I actually have a group called the Tech Tank. Tech Tank is a group of girls only. They let me come in the room because I organize and we immerse them in different types of technology. Most of the time it's a new technology I'm gonna try with the rest of the building. I would like to think that students who come out of the lab will at least have an awareness that when they're using any program on any device, there are human beings who have programmed this. And it's not just some magical piece of technology or a robot. It feels amazing to learn this when you're at such a young age. I feel very lucky to be going to the school. Everything we do is blended in with technology. And teaching kids to leverage this from the earliest age gives them a great advantage as they go out into the world. I want to kind of work at NASA since I really like rockets. Seeing the kids just cheer for something that they made happen. It's about learning and not just snapping Legos together. It's just awesome.